Hello, hello, how are you? Welcome to Angel Card Readings with Grace. I'm Grace and the reading is for May 2020. Okay, guys, so what's important? What is to know this month? We have three messages for all of us collectively, but also besides the full moon in Scorpio on the seventh and new moon in Gemini on the 22nd, um, 9.35 a.m. Easter start in standard time. And Gemini, that's communication. Also, on the 5th and 6th, wherever you are, we have the North Node. So, the mission, the destiny, the life mission, what we came to do, why we came here, <laughs> this life anyway, goes from emotional, sensitive cancer to Gemini. So the sign, the air sign, and again, communication. So now we see that communication will play an important role, creating, communicating, how we're relating to each other. It's gonna be very important. And happy birthday, Taurus, and happy birthday, Gemini. <laughs> but I tell you, as we're digging in for the truth with the full moon in Scorpio on the seven, I even see more important stuff with the retrogrades. We have four of them in May. So April sounds like it's a good time to do something nice, uh, enjoy ourselves, but the energy in May changes, big time, for the next five months. On April 25th, Pluto starts to retrograde, and Pluto retrogrades to uh, October 4th of 2020, so it's five months. Then Saturn starts to retrograde on May 11 to September 29 this year. And Venus from May 13 to June 25th in Gemini. Uh, Saturn was, of course, in Aquarius. Venus in Gemini and Jupiter in Capricorn, uh, May 14 to September 13, 2020 four planets retrograde. So what it is means in a couple words, I made a video in Polish that is 44 minutes, 46 cents, <laughs> seconds, <laughs> cents, <laughs> interesting. But it's just too much to do in both languages. So that's why um, slowly but surely going for less and less in English. Saturn retrograde in Aquarius. Saturn, that's a lord of karma. We're talking karmic relationships, karmic situations, past, present, and future karma, and past lives. Karmic lessons and karmic deaths. So when Saturn retrogrades, don't think that it's gonna ease up. Uh uh, it's twice strong. So, really, it's time to clean up our life, forgive, learn the lessons. And these lessons that's showing up, they not, uh, not necessarily will be easy. With all these four retrogrades, we may see obstacles, it's not going our way, and the new normal is change. If we go with flow, it's gonna be okay. But if we stubborn, if we insist on things being our way, controlling, manipulating, uh -uh, that's not gonna go well at all. 
those people who are depressed or totally isolated, something may happen in those people's lives that will shake them up to the core to finally be free from depression or isolation. Now, is something interesting going on in March with the super full moon in Virgo I was connected constellation of Leo, the tail <laughs> of Leo. And we had this huge thing on the Wall Street and the Vatican got closed up and everything. What happened next is one big tragedy and drama. And we feel in it. But what happens with this, with Saturn retrograde, conjuncts the star of Altair in the constellation of an eagle. Not even points, but just minutes, six minutes. And that's a big thing because that means sadness. Yes, isolation. This is the time of a social isolation because that's what this means. This whole Saturn retrograde. Pain, disappointments, mental issues, hospitals, also possible many deaths, especially in the hospitals separation from parents or family, impossible to work. And often because of this, what we have going on right now, I don't want to even say it because I don't want to spread it, is already enough social media doing it. Sometimes it will be impossible to work to the rest of someone's life. Mm -hmm. Depression, separation, even children may be affected to the point that they cannot connect with their parents. And they become so isolated that it will affect they like to the rest of it. So this is very, very heavy energy that brings really sad consequences. Also, because Saturn retrogrades in Aquarius, and what means Aquarius? Freedom, independence, free thinking, so liberalism. And it's important to be courageous, confident, passionate, ambitious, yes. Even clairvoyance. And digging into the truth, like for example, what really is going on. This constellation of an ego is connected to the sign of Scorpio. And right now, the planet of Pluto that takes care of, uh, rules Scorpio, is also retrograding. And whatever Pluto is, Pluto is our inner power. And for each zodiac sign, it will be absolutely different. Okay, for example, for Scorpio, it will be all about communication. That's what we're talking about. How they communicate, if they can communicate, not keeping everything inside, and boy, when they finally courageous to say something, they blow up. So that, that's going to be really interesting how this is going to go. And the 
dates that are really uh, important to watch is August 24th and September 29. Much, much of frustration. And after goes forward, Saturn goes forward, we will need time to recover. Okay. In today's astrology, the constellation of ego actually rules over the United States of America plus weapons, air, cosmos. So we will see how this, uh, uh, what this really means. But uh, let's remember one thing, nothing happens to hurt us. It's all to put us on the right path, finally. And lessons coming from Saturn, since it's karma, is not just for a month, year, for this lifetime, but forever, for all the lives. So that's why the past, the present, and the future. These lessons that we learn and will learn in these five months from Saturn, whatever happens, is forever. It's on its soul level forever. Then on the 13th, Venus starts to retrograde until uh, June 25th in five degrees of Gemini. So Venus, that's a planet of love. And yes, we have Sun in Taurus. So here is Venus that says, okay, love, romance, and pleasure, and nice dinners, and China, because that's what you bought that China for, and um, candlelight, and nice music in the background, pleasures, yeah? Nice cooking, that's what Venus represents. So, since retrograde, the past may come back. Past lovers, exes, past situations, even past life situations and lovers. So very, very karmic time. What are we going to do with it? Are we going to get in a wheel of karma and repeat the same mistakes again? Here is a test. Are you going to go for it again? Or you finally learn your lessons? If you learn, now you're going to get someone who really deserves you. If not, keep learning. But I tell you one thing, even if you meet the prince on a white horse and you're ready to get on that horse and gallop for Las Vegas and let Elvis Presley to marry you, I would wait until June 25th. Okay, gallop on 26th. <laughs> Because you may change your mind. You don't get in the new relationships uh, when Venus retrogrades. You also, even if you knew somebody and let's get married, let's do this, let's do that, take it easy. You st if you're still in love after June 25th, you get a blessing. If not, if not, forget it. It's in five degrees. Five means change and transformation. So you change it. You transforming. So what you in love right now, you may change your mind later. Okay. What is good Venus retrograding for is to finally love yourself. Take care of yourself. Know who you are. Know what you want. Do not be a doormat. Even if the prince or princess is the most handsome, the most gorgeous. You just don't do that. Because when you love yourself, you're assertive. You know what's good for you. You are 
an authentic self. And you don't want anything less. You, in fact, love your own company. You're not always looking, oh my God, when I, uh, you know, I need to meet that person because that's my second half. The what? So you are just walking half? <laughs> of course not. It's a nonsense. And when you love yourself, you feel great, no matter what. And you will never let anybody treat you any less than you feel you deserve it. You see what I'm saying? So that's what we're going to learn. The date to remember and to, to watch is May 13, because moon squares with Uranus, the planet of boom, surprises, shock. Mars is in Pisces and Venus just starts to retrograde. This day, I don't see as a good day. This may be even a dangerous day. Watch out, uh, because from nowhere, people may become fanatic. Uh, we may feel nervous, easily irritated, changing moods from zero to 360, separations, conflicts in relationships, and God forbid, somebody is trying or is scaring that will commit suicide. And I got to put this because depression, people who are bipolar, they may act up. So lots of drama. Knowledge is power. So now you know. Now Jupiter starts to retrograde in Capricorn on May 14. So you see like boom, boom, and boom, and will retrograde until uh, September 13 in Capricorn, 17 degrees. 17, I always think as of the soul number. Four months. So um, usually uh, around four months. This is the biggest planet in a solar system, the fifth from fifth from um, our sun. And really, it's beautiful. It's not for all lives, luck, blessings. It's only for this, for a shorter period of time, but brings gifts, blessings, um, wealth, but also, or long and, and, and long journeys. But also let's remember that brings expansion and power. So whatever touches, it expands, either is good or bad, doesn't matter. When Jupiter starts to retrograde, we may go through many tests if we even deserve for this happiness, if we deserve to be wealthy. So any greed or any bad dependencies, codependencies may not be, um, may not go well. Suddenly, something is shown up and exposed and hopefully not in a really tragic way somebody wakes up oh but everything is to put us again on the right path when jupiter will go forward again on uh, september 13 we will know a lot more what's good for us, what's not. What's the road to success and happiness? So you see, everything has a reason. But when planets retrograde, we learn a lot. And boy, all these planets, and wait for June, we will also have eclipses. Yep. So let's be prepared. Now, 
three messages for all of us. First is let go. Let go of control. Let, just relax. Let things happen the way they should. Don't try to stop. Don't try to be stubborn. It's got to be my way. Oi, it's going to be tough if you decide to do that. You will regret it. Healing healed and healer. So many will need healing. Many have a healing energy surrounding them. And many are healers. And as I've been selling, telling for a while, what the world needs now and will be needing is healing. So either you need healing or you're healing or you want to surround yourself with the healing energy. And couldn't be <laughs> any more true. Be yourself. That's the message. It's different than in Polish. That's the ones that wanted to come here. So no matter what happens, it's time to be your authentic self. Self. It's time to be the true self. Either a situation from the past, the future, the present, whatever it is, you want to tell the truth. You want to be yourself. And you want to build your life starting in May based and who you truly are and what's good for you. Also, to admit the truth to your own self, never mind others. I'm putting everything back, so if, if someone gets uh, one of these cards again, it's even more important, more meaningful. Very, very interesting times that we live in. Social isolation. Wearing masks or that disaster. Okay, this one to be first. Okay, so let's start with my dear Aries. Oh, I want to say that all these readings are for the subscribers, first and foremost, okay? And if you didn't subscribe yet, please do it because I want to see that we're actually expanding, that we're growing as a spiritual uh, family. And that's it. And my dear Aries, listen to the beginning because tells a lot and you will understand a lot. Let's see, my dear Aries, let's see what is for you. Oh, two of them. Okay. Okay, so starting with the heart chakra. So my dear Aries is just like this green around. Heart chakra, what you need to heal? Emotions, your heart, because maybe you broke up with someone, maybe you lost something or someone. You definitely need to listen to your heart and heal your heart for some of you. What's your passion? What's important to you? Come from your heart, not your brain. That's what I hear. And when I'm saying, I see all this gorgeous green, which will be in May, of course, even those blooming lilacs that I love, I will stop and smell everywhere that I see lilac, <laughs> literally. <laughs> That's my own picture I took two years ago. Now, strength, 11. Very important. 11 is the master number and says the power of kindness, the power of forgiveness, to know when to be like a lion lioness and when to be like a little lamb. And finally, to understand how wonderful you are, how powerful you are. Okay? So don't have those thoughts. Oh, I cannot do it. No, oh, no, 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 oh, absolutely not. Keep being strong and powerful. 
And you're gonna be because that's mm -hmm. and maybe something is going on that actually makes you feel this way in your heart that you have to be strong and be strong. That's a that's a major arcana. So that will happen. So if any challenges will happen in May, you know that you can overcome it. For sure. Maybe around heart issues. Hmm? Of course, this is not a personal reading, a reading for many people. So it can play in many different ways. Have an open mind when it comes to your relationships. Now, if you're already in a relationship, don't close your heart ever, okay? Keep an open mind. There are many ways to fix something. When you need to heal, just heal it. Understand the life lessons, the karmic maybe lessons or, uh, or a debt, because karma is so strong this month and next month. But if you're waiting to meet someone, that's someone. Maybe not what you were picturing. Maybe totally different. And you, wow, that's not what I expected. It doesn't mean it's not going to be absolutely wonderful. So have an open mind. Because you're just about some of you to meet your soulmate. Spend more time outdoors. Yeah. Just looking at these lilacs, I feel a lot better. And May is a beautiful month. So if you can, you have a deck, you have a little garden. Maybe it's a nature in any way, shape, or form that you can go there, just go use it because it's going to work really miracles for you. Family harmony. So some of you may be working on how to harmonize, how to find balance within the family, with your children with your partners, with mothers, fathers, anything goes. Oh, yes. You're going for that harmony. It's very important to you. And I see again when the two messages wanted to come, one of them is your Dore or someone's Dore. This Dore suddenly may tell you something that you will say, wow, I have a finally answer to my question. I have no doubt anymore what I'm supposed to do. So listen to the younger people. This may be a boy too. And this is the right time to move forward. So you may suddenly hear from your child what to do when it comes to your family. How to heal your heart. How to listen to your heart. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful, beautiful universe gives you this judgment. Judgment robs me of witnessing everyday miracles. I am open to loving myself enough to be me. Wow. I cannot believe this. You need to listen to the beginning, to my intro. Okay, because that's what I'm talking about. Plus, the first three messages for everybody. That <laughs> help you to understand what this message is all about. And this message is number 33. And next, next master number. What can I say? Aries, I really wish you a beautiful, beautiful, healthy, and happy month. And we're going to Taurus. Taurus, happy birthday, my Taurus people. <laughs> happy birthday. Listen to the intro. Very important. Talking about many things that you need to hear. That's why I'm taking my time. Plus, if you still didn't subscribe, please do so. And I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. So what we have here, my dear Taurus, it's your 
birthday month if you born in May. Okay. So, interesting. Some of you waiting for something. You waiting. And it's important that what you're waiting for comes from your heart. Because here is the heart. So you're growing something, maybe literally, or, okay, what's gonna happen? I'm almost there, I'm almost there, but you're still not there, you're waiting for something. And this one says, do something. That's the Empress, number three. So something may be changing. You want to really, you Taurus, so I don't blame you. You want to feel great. You want to laugh. You want to feel loved. You want to create beauty. You want to feel pleasures. That's who you are. Maybe you're creating, period. You're in the art business. And you should feel even more creating than ever. Beautiful time to create. And when you start to go after what you really want, and you're almost there. But still, don't sit do, doing nothing. Time to take action. That's the main thing. And go forward. Whatever, whatever you love to do, you, you, towards your heart desires. Now, for some of you, marriage is important. And with this Venus retrograde, that's why I'm saying, I listen to the intro. Because maybe your marriage is involved. Maybe you're waiting some, for something here. Maybe you're waiting for get married or your wedding because you're worrying about this even. Because what if you can not have this wedding of so many people, for example? Or if this even happens, maybe you're worrying. Now, Archangel Michael says your home is protected. Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants. I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door, ensuring its security. Thank you for guiding my finances so that I can easily afford to pay my rent, mortgage, or taxes. So some of you may be worrying about this. Maybe you're waiting for the money. Maybe you're waiting for the loan. Maybe you're worrying you're not going to be able to make payments. But uh, Archangel Michael says, your home is protected by angels. Ask for protection anyway. That's a beautiful message. For some of you, sexuality is really important. It's May, it's getting warm. And maybe you feel like, yeah, I want more sex. I want spice up. And I hope you can. I hope you can. But this will be important. But some of you I hear may have a problem with this. Problem with the sexuality. Problem with performing. Or simply being with somebody. Either not having somebody or being with somebody on different level. One wants more, the other whatever. <laughs> Life. Life. Your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. So some of you spiritual teachers, some of you healers, some of you teachers, some of you spiritual teachers, some of you want to learn about this, which is very good, and journey. Number 32, that's the message from the universe. Regardless of the fears associated with change, it is the only path to healing. I embrace change with gratitude. So don't be stubborn as only Taurus, Scorpio, and uh, Leo and Aquarius can be, <laughs> but Go with the flow. Whatever it takes you, it's okay. 
don't start to oppose anything and listen to the intro because one of these three cards says something about this too. So my dear Taurus, once again, happy, happy birthday, okay? My dear Gemini, happy birthday as well. Happy birthday, I wish you all the best. Please subscribe, if you subscribe, thank you, because mostly readings are for the subscribers. And listen to the beginning. It will tell you a lot more than just this. Wow, my dear Gemini, it starts with a broken heart. But this broken heart, if that happened, or it will happen because Venus starts to retrograde, I will really help you to know who you are. And you will be more empathetic, understanding of others' pain. So this will actually help you. Share your experiences with others. Even write down your feelings, your emotions, so you can process a lot easily. Hmm. Also may show you, maybe this was in the past, but this is three. It means it's a catalyst. So because of the broken heart, you suddenly, something, something will be changed. So you know what, some coming with the karma for broken heart. You broke somebody's heart or somebody broke your heart. Some of you will experience a broken heart. So something is not gonna go well, just the way you would like. You may be simply disappointed, disappointed. And I hear somebody can get sick. Oh, I don't like to even say that. But mostly this is between you and partner. Either you're coming with it or we'll go through some experiences. But very good for the career, no matter what happened. Maybe you lost a job and you have a broken heart. Maybe you lost someone, you have a broken heart. But here is go fearlessly. Go for something new, be courageous, go for it. And many butterflies, changes, changes, and changes. Some of you getting really great new opportunities, a new project. Hey, you wanna work for us? And you would never expect that this may happen. So I see really going in the right, in the right place, to the right place, in the right way. Some of you want to get engaged. Some of you want to get married. Some of you want to move in together because you don't want to be separated in different states, for example. You want to be together and create family for whatever reasons. But maybe this is for a half person, <laughs> one person. Some of you thought we were going to get engaged. But that's why you, you're going to have a broken heart. Because it's not going to well the way it's supposed to. And I wouldn't like to see because of some drama. But like I said, maybe one person. Don't think about it. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. Archangel Michael, thank you for your assisting me with whatever the situation is. Please help me be filled with faith and peace at all times. So if you have a situation, broken heart, lost the job, something else, ask Archangel Michael. Ask Archangel Michael will help you, whatever it is. You see, you are awakening your true self, a beautiful card. So you finally reaching the point and sometimes the heart needs to be broken to start living, to start feeling that you have a heart and you awaken. You know about yourself, about who you are, what is good for you. What's your life but more and more. 
and your wishes may come true in the fall time. Abundance, wonderful harvests. So you say, if you've been thinking, okay, when I'm gonna finally do this, this, or, or get that, fall is for some of you the season. And wonder. Sorry, I'm looking somewhere. Wonder. Hmm. Beautiful card. Okay, wonder. Number 52, if that means something to you. Five and two is seven. In stillness, I discovered the wonder of my joyous heart. The mysterious space between thoughts and feelings reveals the gap between thriving and surviving. My heart is open to infinite possibilities. Wow. So you see, the wonder of my joyous heart. So whatever was in the beginning, it's actually in some wonderful way you will understand what happened and why that happened. And you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. You're going to be just fine. My dear Gemini, yeah, Venus is going backwards, retrograding, and May 13 may mean something to you, but please watch. Also, the North Node goes to Gemini on the fifth or sixth, depends where you are. So yes, North Node is what's your life mission for all of us? What's the life purpose? Then is Cancer. My dear Cancer, Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, my dear Cancer. My dear Cancer. So the North Node is living Cancer for Gemini on the May 5th or 6th. And please listen to the beginning to the intro and also subscribe. So our beautiful spiritual family will be growing. And what I see, okay. This I always think about Scorpio. Maybe you have Scorpio in your chart or simply you know some Scorpio. But this means strength. Are you controlling what's going on in your life? Um, every time I see control, this is not a controlling time. Yes, it's important what you're thinking about. Be positive and expect the best and be optimistic so that you can control but you closing eyes on something or you finally start opening your eyes are you everything sweeping under the rug or you're looking straight forward and you're looking at the truth your inner truth are you living with your eyes closed? Eight. I see here karma. That's what I feel. Karma, very karmic time. And some of you feel like you need to be strong because I see already what is going to be happening next. So this one is, okay, she's thinking, kuda, wuda, shuda, past karma stuff. The angel is saying, hey, new possibilities, new people. And you, mm, coulda, woulda, shoulda. You remi rem reminiscing. You distracted. And maybe not happy with your life too much, some of you. And I don't like to say it, but it's unrequited love for some of you. For some of you. So, oh, it should be so beautiful, so wonderful. And unfortunately, either love is gone, passion, 
chemistry gone and is disappointing. And maybe some of you with this Venus retrograding starting on May 13th, you may be seeing this. Uh -uh. But you are on the right path, says Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make helpful life changes. So some of you waking up, opening your eyes and seeing things for what they are. Either this is your choice or Pluto retrogrades since April 25th and now Venus on the 13th and the other planets, I'm talking in the intro, it's very important, please listen to it. You, you waking up to the true you. You're also making new friends because you're noticing that the old friends weren't your supporters. You couldn't rely or depend on them. And you're making new friends. And the butterflies change and change. Ooh, business venture. So maybe for your love is not the best time, my dear Cancer, but boy is good for a business, new business, new career. Something Trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. Look how much goal they have. They go and quit what they love to do with their passion. So maybe love for some of you is not the best. Maybe it's unrequited. Maybe you're discovering it's like a dead wood. But, wow, business venture and growth. Beautiful, the universe. Number 23, magic, power, power, and green, like the rest of it, healing, love, both given and received, is the primary nutrient that feeds me and enables me to grow and adapt. My heart and soul grow deeper in love as I embrace the contrast of my life. So, yes. If something is not right, when it comes to relationships, love, 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 you understand a lot more what is really important for you, what really counts what is worth to pursue and maybe right now career simple as that which is okay <laughs> which is just fine just go with your you know um go with the flow go with your heart intuition you're gonna be okay and i wish you a wonderful month my dear cancer and now we go to leo my dear leo what's going on let's see Let's see, my dear ego, ego, because I see ego already. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? And a spider at the end. Okay. All right. So it starts with the hierophant as a teach. So what are you teaching? What are you preaching? What you're saying to yourself, you may be a spiritual teacher, you may be just a teacher, maybe you're inspiring, motivating people. With love, that's the rose, book, the knowledge, and surrounded with great friends. But it's five. And five means if you're not comfortable with something, you have a conflict in you, it's time for change and transformation. And maybe you transform me as a teacher, as a speaker, as a motivator. Something is changing. 
but I see you teaching. Maybe you doing webinars or you going for webinars. Maybe you teaching or you learning. Both is good. Maybe you doing one and the other. So, super. Because also May is five. So perfect time. Also surround yourself with the right people. Now the second is 15. So it's the beginning of five of a change. And for you is to realize in the other decks, it's evil, a devil, evil, devil. So codependencies, ego, fear, what you're afraid of. You, we can live our life from love or fear and ego is fear. Ego is what keeps you anchored to the wrong things. The illusion of being trapped, exactly. Of course, this is only an illusion. You can always end this, but maybe you're worrying too much. Maybe you have a reason to worry, but worries uh, only will lower your vibration. Maybe you're thinking about money. It's very possible or you're getting too materialistic, or you're thinking you're gonna lose something because you're losing your job or you're afraid to lose job or seeing what's going on in the world. In a relationship, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnerships. And I see more than just, you know, husband, wife, and both romantic partners but I see more as a karma. If somebody comes back from the past, even past lives, or you wanna go back and speak to someone because you want forgiveness, or you need an explanation, or somebody does and comes to you, give a chance, because that will be the best healer finally understand, see now with your different perception, different eyes, and finally you can understand, grasp it fully, you're going to be actually grateful that this is the end. For some of you, I hear you actually can be again together, and it's worth working because you both love each other deeply, You created a situation and you can have, you have the power to change it, says Archangel Michael. Thank you for letting me lean on your strength and for reminding me of my personal power. Please guide me to manifest and heal according to divine will, creating peace and blessings for everyone involved. So if you created something, maybe... You were too egoistic. Maybe you were going too much for money, being too materialistic. Maybe you drank too much or whatever. Whatever devices are, you can change it. You can work on it. And you can live happily ever after because you say, it's going to be very important to you, my dear Leo. With your big heart, to love with your heart and to receive love. That's for you, very important, your family, your home. But some lessons are need to be learned here for you. <sighs> Time outdoors. So if you can go outdoors, even to the little garden, hug the tree, smell, the beautiful lilacs, whatever it is. Enjoy sun, very much will help you. You're a ruler is sun, right? And perception, that's the message from the universe from you, number 43, it, maybe that means something, together seven. I do not really have problems. I only think I do by the way I interpret my circumstances. 
A problem is an illusion. It is a limiting perception without gratitude. Now, some of you needed to hear this. I wish you a wonderful month, my beautiful Leo people. Please subscribe if you didn't and listen to the intro. Thank you for watching and see you next time. My dear Virgo, 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 Virgo. What is for Virgos? Let's see. What is for my Virgos? Subscribe, of course. And if you didn't, please subscribe it. Thank you. Also listen to the intro, please, because it's a lot of messages right there. Okay. My dear Virgo, you have in the beginning, observe in other decks, the hangman. So maybe Pisces person is important in your life. Others' perceptions, looking from a different point of view and becoming enlightened. And the moon is next. So some epiphanies, you suddenly may know something. You may also discover some gifts and talents that you never thought you had before. Maybe you suddenly know the truth in some situation or you were asking questions, you couldn't get answers and now it's so obvious, suddenly it's obvious. But do not be in a hurry with anything. Please listen to the intro, you will hear why. Just observe, listen, find out the truth and maybe full moon in Scorpio will bring you some answers. You may have vivid dreams, vision, signs, symbols placed on your path, synchronicities. And stay optimistic about your love life. So my dear Virgo, you may be like, hmm, nothing is gonna have good happen to this relationship or I will never meet the right person. I will never have love and passion in my life. No, 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 don't say that. Just keep dreaming. Keep dreaming because, <laughs> just talking about this, positive thoughts create positive results, says Archangel Michael, divine love and wisdom. I call upon you now. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally internally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person in situation. You see? Stay optimistic, think positive, and it's gonna be okay. Even miracle healing can happen for you. What a beautiful message. So you can expect if you ask being positive, optimistic. Yes, that person can get uh, healthy again. Yes, I can be healthy. Because with everything what's going on, I know health is really on our mind. And maybe somebody close to you will find themselves, um, or you hear about somebody going to the hospital or something. Miracle healing. Ask for it and you will get it. That's what I hear for you. And many of you asking about your love life or whatever is going on. Somehow goes around love, partner, dreams about love. Wow. The basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. That's the message. And maybe that's where you have this miracle healing. It didn't go well, it didn't. You started to be pessimistic about this, but boom, you never gave up. And now again, optimism. So Virgo, you may be in May becoming more negative or you were more negative than before May. This is number 40, four April, for being stable, practical, and knowing what you want. 
I begin with an optimistic attitude and have faith that however long the journey takes, I can and will make it through. I am open to unfolding possibilities. And look, it's just with that faith, 100% faith, hope, believing that everything will be okay. Just open your wings and fly. It's all going to be good. But don't rush into anything. Do not rush, especially in the beginning of um, May and listen to the intro. You understand what's going on. Okay, thank you. I wish you a wonderful May, my dear Virgo. And now we're going to my dear Libra. Libra, Libra, what's for you, my dear Libra? Okay, okay, and okay. Oh, beautiful reading. We're starting, and that's the energy for me, for you, my dear Libra. you leaving something behind. You may be or emotionally attached to the person, situation, but you already see it's a dead wood. It's like a dead wood. It doesn't grow anything anymore. There is no hope. The well dried out, I hear. And you're moving on. Listening to your intuition, listening to your feelings, and maybe it's sad to move on, but you're moving where you can see that you can grow something that you can be happy. So something that for a really long time, you were emotionally attached to someone or something and you're living them. And you're going for balance, balance, inner balance. You creating a reality based on balance harmony because that's what Libra is okay so the skills right and you thinking okay is everybody okay what I'm doing no that's again Libra right wants everybody to approve what uh, is doing doesn't want to hurt anybody but it says don't rush into anything it's okay do the right thing but I see that you're going for a true love. So you're living something that was not working anymore to have this true love. And you're finally going for this romance of a lifetime for what's in your heart. Because Libra is an air sign. So it's all about head thinking, analyzing, asking others for advice, for example. And here you're going for your heart desires. You know who you love. You know what's important to you. And that's what you're going for. Congratulations, Libra. Beautiful. Be gentle with yourself, says Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, speak, and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. So it looks like you're living and maybe you're feeling a little guilty. You're not feeling 100% sure, although it looks like you wanted to live for a while. You just, you just knew that you're going to live. And now you're going for this true love and you need to take care of yourself. Look inside of yourself. So listen to your intuition. What is that you want? Truly want, not pretending that you want, not playing games with anybody. No, maybe I'm talking to two, three people, <laughs> but still, what is that you think you deserve? 
that you truly want, desire, and your wish is granted. What you've asked for is coming true. Wow, isn't this beautiful? Love it, love it, love it. And here is number 48. Four and eight, 12 is three. This moment is sacred. I am now ready, willing, and able to embrace my inner child. All is well. Wow. You ready to make a drastic change, my dear Libra. Congratulations, finally. <laughs> to some of you. Very good. Very good. Go for it. Go for it, Libra. And I wish you, of course, please subscribe. Listen to the intro because it's important what I'm saying for the next month, what's going to happen. And see you next time. Have a wonderful month. My dear Scorpio, please subscribe. <laughs> please listen to the intro. And you will find a lot more information because it is kind of important important month for month and next five months for all of us okay 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 it starts coming together so maybe you were thinking about someone maybe someone um is dear to your heart maybe you're meeting someone new but for most of us, if you listen to the intro, you will understand it's karma. It's karma. Good. It's time to maybe explain something. It's time to get a resolution. It's time for forgiveness, understanding, and cutting karma off once and for all healing because you see how important is this green here just like this beautiful lilacs right so coming together and is a renewal now for some you finally renewing maybe after many years maybe the past lives you know coming back here but i see that you're reviewing what happened in the past so somebody comes back karmically and now, okay, that's what happened. That happened. No, I'm not going to judge you. Don't judge me because everything happened for a reason. What did we learn? Life lesson, karmic lessons, because that's exactly what is here. That's what this is for. Some of you will finally understand your life purpose, your mission in life. And which is beautiful. That's a major arcana. When it comes to relationships, my dear Scorpio, wearing masks, not being truthful. They both not truthful. And this may be for some, somebody else, who is giving a wrong advice. Or you are, if this was you, and I don't know if this is you, but for one person too, if this is you, and you're keeping somebody, but this somebody says, mm, stay away, I have somebody else, and she's not happy. He, she. So, which role you are playing, my dear Scorpio? Are you this person or are you this? But wearing masks meaning not being truthful to yourself and to somebody else, playing games, doing something what you shouldn't. But I see that this angel is trying to take that mask off the truth will come out. Oh, you have a full moon in your own sign, Scorpio, on the 7th of May. Yeah? 
you may just tell the truth, show your true self. And that's it. Okay, because your health should be in your focus. Focus upon divine and perfect health. Archangel Michael. God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. That should be in your focus. Keep up your heels. Don't give up. Don't give up. What you love to do, what is important to you. Live with passion, with enthusiasm, like a little child. And be happy. And the answers to your prayers will come in the winter time. I know. We just started spring. But you will finally fully realize your blessings. Everything that you ask for, that will happen in the months of winter. And the message from the universe is living. I want to say loving, living. Uh, it's number 35. And it says, I think of living as the process of painting a masterpiece. Every breath, experience, and intention adds to the beauty of my blank canvas. The vibrancy of the colors of life are evident when I cherish myself unconditionally. So you see, what you painting? If you could paint your life the way you imagine that should be, what would be in a canvas? What kind of colors you would use? Vibrancy. Kick up your heels, dear Scorpio. I wish you all the best. Listen to the intro, please. And subscribe. Thank you very much. Enjoy May. And we're going to go now to Sagittarius. My dear Sagittarius, what's for you? What's for you, my dear Sag? Okay. Please subscribe and please watch. The intro because you're gonna understand a lot more than just these cards because I already see it <laughs> five and it says challenging times and May is number five five is where we feel not comfortable and we want to get free free ourselves be independent, changes and transformation. So already is foretelling me that this month for you, my dear Satch, may be very transformative. Okay, be prepared. Now, this is the chariot, number seven. And that would be all great. I see this here is Markaba. What's your destiny? What's your life mission? Because obviously you have these challenging times because you're not doing something to totally what you should do as your life mission. And the balance, inner balance is crucial because if two horses will go in both sides, boom, what you have? In a ditch, you are ending. So, Dedication, self-discipline, knowing what you're doing, knowing your life mission. Some of you in a spotlight, and that's beautiful. And some of you going for challenging times. Because that's exactly where it's going. Towards these challenging times. And maybe you feel challenged, like you have your armor, like, you know, I'm prepared. <laughs> I'm prepared. And addictions are affecting your romantic life, codependency. So either this is you or somebody dear to you, maybe codependent on someone, 
or having drinking, drug, and who knows what else, addictions. And that is, that may be a problem in create challenging times. Please watch the intro because I'm talking about this. So you want to watch. Because if you don't, if you don't, and May 13 comes knowing what's going to uh, be happening on May 13, uh, you want to be safe. You don't want to be shown what you're doing not right in a, some tragic way, okay? So be careful, be smart, and don't be fearful. Don't worry about anything because God is in charge. Dear God, please help me let go of this situation, giving it in faith and trust your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. So God has the main word, vacation. Some of you think like, you know what? I need a vacation. And for maybe for one million reasons. Maybe you just want to get out from where you are. Maybe you need solitude. Or maybe you want to be in a beautiful surroundings like I'm with these lilacs. Some of you need a break. Some of you need peace. Maybe you overworked. Or are you sitting locked up right now at home and like, oh, I can't take this anymore. <laughs> And I cannot be sitting in this one place for too long. And you're like eager to just like the horse on the track of the gate. <laughs> just get out of wherever you are. Walk away. That's the advice from the fairies. Live the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. So some challenging times. Codependencies. Definitely it's time to end with vices or karmic situations, karmic people, relationships. And the universe is power. Number 44. Very, very important number angels that's one thing and that's a master number god and god is in charge so something is really pulling you to your fate for example the greatest power is self-love my spirit is pure love wow it's beautiful so that's what I'm talking about, self-love, in the intro. Please go to the intro, listen to it, please subscribe, and have a wonderful month. I see you next time. Thank you, and let's go with my Capricorn. Capricorn, what's for you? What's important for you? Okay, so we're starting with number six, which is love. I think even in Polish version, this was the first message for the Capricorn. I really feel that Capricorns are looking into relationship, love, blessings in love, obviously and peace and harmony within relationship. And this is around the full moon in Scorpio. And this is the high priestess, very spiritual card. What your intuition is telling you. What you think you should know, your dreams, synchronicities, even if you have to make a decision, because this is number two. So doing this or doing that. You just like here is two, two. Maybe it comes to your relationship, your marriage, or should I get in? And if you listen to the intro, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. 
not just for month of May, but for five months. So listen to your intuition. If you have to make a decision, especially when it comes to relationships, absolutely. And you, I see praying, meditating, visualizing your soulmate, especially for those who are waiting for someone. You're dreaming about it. You, you're trying to figure out how you're feeling, how this person looks like, how you feel next to this person. You're definitely doing. And you also, if you're not in the right relationship or you're having troubles now, you're trying to really pray for what you want to happen, which is a good idea. Now, this message is both the same, looking and make a commitment. That's what Archangel Michael is telling you. Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly, clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. So this is not just about, first, you may be visualizing, meditating, but then you're making a commitment, and Archangel Michael says, make a commitment to what you're choosing. What's your clear intention? Where you want to go? What's your life purpose? What's important to you? What's in your heart? Honoring your true feelings. You see? What do you feel? What is important to you? What you desire? What you love? Commit to it. You've got the power. Use your abilities to resolve this situation. You can do it. She's walking on this thin line. And yes, if she's not careful, she can fall down. But she trusts. She has the faith and hope. And she knows she can do it. You've got the power, my dear Capricorn. You've got the power because the changes ahead of you and yes you can be successful enlightened too because the universe is enlightenment number four is six four and six ten beginning of something new but based on a harmony and stability practicality no? that's capricorn <laughs> a single moment truly lived is the same as living a thousand lifetimes. The wisdom of the universe teaches me that each moment is genuinely experienced when I awaken to the power of infinite love and gratitude, the key to mastering the game of life. I awaken to the power of infinite love and gratitude, the key to mastering the game of life. Wow. Beautiful reading. Beautiful reading. Beautiful messages, my dear Capricorn. I wish you all the best. Success. And see you next time. My dear Aquarius, listen to the intro before I forget to say, please subscribe. So we grow, 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 and let's see, my dear Aquarius, what is for you. Listen to the intro, because we're not talking one month, we're talking months to come. It's important to know. Okay, so, crown chakra. Listen to the messages that you're receiving from the cosmos, from your uh, higher self, from the angels. You will simply know. If you listen to it, you will know, especially when it comes to choosing between the lovers. Healing. Choices. Let them be from your heart. Some of you just healthy again. Some of you finally finding the lover or having lover in your life that you happy with. But six is a major arcana. For some of you, I say that you need to choose. 
and let your friends help you. Hmm. So maybe some messages, maybe uh, the Scorpio full moon on a seventh showing you something. You're getting, you, you getting this message or messages, this aha moment. And now you need to know what to do. Use your imagination and you will see the answer, says Archangel Michael. Dear God, thank you for granting me the wisdom and creativity to see your miracles in new and unexpected way. I gratefully and gracefully accept and appreciate your help with whatever the situation is. Yeah, no, that's not going to be an easy month for anybody. Inner power. You have the inner power. And this is a new moon, as you can see, in Gemini on the 22nd in the universal year number 22. So you have the inner power to change something because you listen to your intuition. You ask God, Archangel Michael, for help. You believing that that's exactly what's going to happen and you can change it. She uh, uh, even says, um, has the star in her hands. Anything goes. Your son is watched over and protected as explores his world. Some of you are getting pregnant with son. Some of you uh, giving birth to a son. Some of you may be lost in the past your son. Some of you releasing your son from your home. Maybe is traveling. Maybe is changing location, job. Something very important. Uh, Somebody's son is ready to jump. So either this is career or traveling. But don't worry. It's all good. It's all good no matter what. That's a very, very positive message. Your son is watched over by angels, by God, higher self. It's all good. And action, number three. So you may go through some catalyst situation moment. Something may change in May for you. Mm -hmm. I am now choosing to live a life of action rather than one of reaction. I am powerfully creating my life, you see? It takes hope, it takes faith, 100% to open your arms and fly. No more sitting duck, no matter what. Decide, go forward, listen to your intuition, and it's all good. And subscribe, please. Thank you. And I wish you a wonderful month, my dear Aquarius. Lots of health and happiness. And now we're finally going to my dear Pisces. Pisces, my dear Pisces. What's going on? In Polish was a beautiful reading, so you know. Really beautiful. And here we see. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, all right. So we're starting with sadness and isolation. So many dear Pisces may feel like lonely, alone, but remember, you have a choice, choice of attitude. Grateful Pisces will look like this. Thank you, thank you for experiences. Thank you even for sadness, because again, more lessons, karmic lessons, please listen to the intro, because I'm talking a lot about five months ahead. Or you can be depressed, sad, and isolated. Also, this may be about somebody else, dear in your life, and you're discovering this. Some of you, because this can be the three swords in a heart, Receiving a bad news. Maybe somebody gets sick. 
maybe somebody is depressed. And if that's you, quickly out, quickly out. Trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others, focusing on that which frightens or worries you. And it's fine. And she's a beautiful butterfly. But it says, watch who you, watch who you talking to, associated with, because this is a Pluto retrograde starting February, I'm sorry, uh, April 25th to October 4th of 2020. Five months, and this is five. And for Pisces, is in the 11th house. Friends, associates, what are you going for? Are you have real friends or quote unquote friends that they are not exactly make you feel this way? They may feel, make you feel this way. And maybe because they are there, they depressed, they said, they don't know what they're doing. They negative. Maybe they toxic. And now, if you're going to be talking to them, trying to help them, they pull you down and lower your vibration. Decide what you really want and you're going to receive it very soon. Very simple. Do you know what you want when it comes to relationships? Or are you looking at karma, what used to be, to the past? Because that's a very karmic time. So if you want happiness, you need to understand the life lessons that came from the past, the relationships from your past. And then you can move on. You and your loved ones are safe. So if you're worrying about you, you're going to get sick or somebody will get sick or die, Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. You can even name them. Please help me feel secure and at peace. And fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. You heard it. And now, not one card, not one message, but two are about new location. So some of my dear Pisces are moving. Changing location. And it's looking at something that is beautiful, peaceful, and just enjoyable. And if that was not enough, hey, Pisces, maybe you should change your location. You're moving. We have a second from a different deck, new home. Moving is a step in the right direction for you. So if you're thinking, moving or not moving, like my lease ends next month, June 30th, and I would love to move, but with this situation right now, um, it's kind of, where am I moving? Where am I going? Move and move. Change your location. It's good for you. Couldn't say any twice next to each other. Mystery is the message from the universe. And it's page 38 to creativity, a success. Well, maybe karmically too, but I think here is about, well, we're going to see. Mystery. The universe and the mind are the great frontier. The Unending Entity of Boundless Mystery. By being, I experience the infinite essence, essence and wonder of life. Being. Feeling here. That's worry. That's emotions. That's Pisces. And again, because it's two, it may be about two, about a couple, about decision to be made. And also three is creativity, 
voice and eight success also karma 11 11 master number if we take this together and is 11 right if we want to look at that and this beautiful green around what you feeling inside wow interesting interesting especially with this movie <laughs> So be positive, my dear Pisces. Subscribe. Listen to the intro. Very important. This month, very important for the next five months. I send you much love, kisses, hugs. And until we meet again.